Hello everybody, hope this finds you well. Question today. Uh, is scientific theory fact? That's the question today. There are many out there that claim because it is a theory and it's made from science that it is. The theory in science is different than just a theory someone comes up with like on the Games of Thrones. What's going to happen on the Game of Thrones theory? That's a different theory than the theory of science has. Well, that's true. It is a different theory, but it's still a theory. Let me explain this. Uh, see how I can explain this. All right. Say you witness the rivers run downhill. You have a cup of water. You spill it. It runs off the table downhill. Everything goes. Water always runs down every time you observe it. So you say. You know, it falls out of the sky, it falls down. Water always goes down. Always goes downhill. Water always runs downhill. That's my theory, and it can be backed up by science. Because all you gotta do is pour out a glass of water and watch which way it runs. It runs downhill. So that's my theory, and it's scientific, so it's a fact, right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. See, I can take that theory and even use it to actually produce things. I can make a water wheel. Water running downhill will cause the water wheel to spin. It produces power, makes the machine run. My theory is correct, right? Because I can use it to make things and prove that it works. Not necessarily. Does water always run downhill? How's it get in the clouds? Clouds are up. Theory's wrong. Even though you can make practical use of it and show that it works every time. But it doesn't. It's not perfect. You know, the fact that steam rises, we can create steam engines. So, my theory that water always runs downhill is wrong. Water sometimes runs downhill, and we can use that, yes. But it doesn't always run downhill. Sometimes it evaporates and goes up. You know, steam's still water. It's just in a different form. So, uh, my theory was wrong. That water always runs downhill. So let's take some of these other scientific theories. So they may work. Practically. You might actually apply them practically. Things such as computers. Lasers, building a better engine for your car or jet engine for your plane. You're using technical theories, which men have come up, men of science have come up with. But that's a funny thing about science. It's never finished. It's always an ongoing process. So you may learn something new tomorrow that shows that thing completely wrong, though you could still get practical application out of a part of it. So it may not completely be wrong, just not complete. Science is not complete, it's never completed. It's never the verdicts always, the verdicts out, that's the way it is. That's not the way science works. It can't work that way. You'd never be growing and expanding. Be like that guy in the patent office back in the 1800s. Oh, everything can be invented, it's already invented. We don't need a patent office anymore. Was he wrong? Ooh. So let's think about it. Before you start saying, well, it's a scientific fact because it's a theory, scientific theory is a scientific fact, before you start spouting off crap like that, think about it. It's still just a theory. It's just science. It's still a quest for knowledge. It's not the set in stone truths of everything. stone. I set things in stone. Stones can break. Have a good day everybody. Peace, love, and understanding.